What is going on? My name is Abu and welcome to another video. In this lecture, I'm going to teach you how time tag works in HTML and how to use it properly. If this is your first time here and you want to develop your skills in HTML, CSS and JavaScript from the ground up to the expert level, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Before you decide to mark up your text content using HTML time tag, you need to answer this question. Do you have time value or precise date value or valid time duration value in your text content? If yes, then you can use time tag to mark them up. Now, let's write some code and learn how to use time tag properly. Here, I opened up the HTML document I created for this lecture using Visual Studio Code. On line 17, I have a sentence and it's saying that I'll finish work at 1600. And this part starting from 16 is time value. So that we can mark up this part with HTML time tag. The opening time tag looks like this. Starting with left angle bracket, time and right angle bracket. And a closing time tag looks like this. Starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, time and right angle bracket. We also need to add date time attribute on the opening time tag like this. Date time. The value of this date time attribute is the valid time string format of this time value. In this case, it is 16 colon and 00. zero. And now both search engines and screen readers will be able to understand this time information correctly so that it's going to help your page ranking and also it helps those people who rely on screen readers to understand the time information correctly. On line 18, I have another sentence and it's saying that my school starts on September 1st and this part starting from September is a precise date value. So we can mark up this part with HTML time tag. So the opening time tag here and closing time tag here. And we can also add date time attribute on the opening time tag like this. The value of this date time attribute in this case is the valid date string format of September 1st. And it looks like this. On line 19, I have another sentence and it's saying that this course will last one hour and 30 minutes. And this part starting from one hour is a valid time duration. So we can mark up this part with HTML time tag. So the opening time tag here and closing time tag here. And we can also add date time attribute on the opening time tag like this. The value of this date time attribute in this case is the valid time duration screen format of 1 hour 30 minutes. And it looks like this. PT in uppercase, 1 edge in uppercase, and 30 M in uppercase. PT stands for period of time, 1 edge stands for 1 hour, and 30 M stands for 30 minutes. Now I'm going to save this and let's try this up in the browser and see how they look. Okay, it worked. As you can see, the time value, date value and the time duration value I marked up using time tag are now displaying correctly. But they all look the same with other text contents. Let's apply different text style to all the time values so that they will look different compared to other text contents. So inside the head tag, I'll create a style tag. The opening style tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, style, and right angle bracket. And the closing style tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, style, and right angle bracket. I'll also add type attribute on the opening style tag like this type and its value is text 
forward slash and CSS. Now let's write some CSS codes inside this style tag. First, I'll select time element, time, space, and then I'll open up a curly brace. Inside here, I'll declare a style property called font weight like this. Font weight colon and its value is bold. And then I'll put semicolon after that. So this block of CSS codes will tell the browser that find the time element and apply bold text style to its content. By the way, if you want to learn more about when and how to use HTML style tag, please make sure to check out my another lecture about HTML style tag. You can find the link in the description below. Now I'm going to save this and let's flip back into the browser and see how they look. I'll just reload this page. Okay, it worked. As you can see, all the time values are now displaying as a bold text and look different. And most importantly, our time value can also be accessible by those people who can't read or who can't see and rely on screen readers. And of course, even the search engines now will be able to understand our time value correctly. If you started learning HTML and you want to master when and how to use every different HTML tag, make sure you check out this playlist and it has everything you need to master different HTML tags. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.